Shalom, Shalom, Shalom Rastafari. That's just a brief uh, etymological uh, link between the Rastafari revelation and the Royal Amharic or in the Shoen, in the Shoen Amharic of Nagus Neges and the more Masoretic or he Hebraic origins, you know what I'm saying, or the Hebraic, what we call the Hebraic roots of Rastafari, to basically prove and to verify against the naysayers um, that Rastafari, the name, is not in the Bible. In fact, it's a very important name in the Bible as we begin to carefully study the etymology, the Hebrew and the Hebraic etymology, as we just went through in the past uh, um, two videos. And there was another video, but due to some technical difficulties, that particular video where we actually created this second part. So we had to actually do it in the, hopefully, the part that you might have just seen previous to this part right here. This is just kind of an overflow, a, a kind of a summary, a wrap up of just explaining the importance of study. It's very important for us to study. In fact, uh, Torah studies are, are very, very important. You understand? And we need to emphasize that with our brothers and sisters. There is almost nothing really that's more important than meditating his word or studying his word day and night, especially for those of us who claim to be Rastafari. It's very, very important. Now, <clears throat> in this process, of course, the the sacrament is is also useful. You understand? Useful. Um, although some people have put the sacrament above the teaching, but the sacrament actually goes along with the teaching. You understand? As incense, burning incense is not worship. But the burning of Aishans goes along with worship. So, in going through the shame tiferet, or the shame tifera, the same tiferet, the, the name, the glorious name that the scriptures point out, that in Revelation we have revealed to us in the person of Ras Tefari. It's important that we do our studies and that we understand the Hebraic etymology of the name. Y'all willing, and we've been working on this for the past, uh, actually several years in research, but over the past several months in actually uh, a compilation where many of these same teachings will actually be in a more printed, um, documented form as we work on certain um, what we call uh, pocket books, you understand, S subject specific books. In other words, for, for example, the name Rastafari, where this study and teaching and a highlighting of some of the significant verses that are found in connection, you understand, through this particular Hebraic, you understand, word search, and some of the other facts are put into a a topical, a topical um, volume, you understand, because just to write one big book, for example, the book that we were referencing, let's get this right here, this is the book that we was referencing, the Strong's Concordance, as you can see, it's a mighty thick book, and it's a very good reference book, you understand, we don't intend to write a new reference book like this as of yet, you understand, but in utilizing such references, you understand, to at least give those who are willing to learn the important clues, directions, and keys to point them in the right direction, you understand, and then over time, you understand, these things will be produced, but it's very important for us to clarify the, the name of Rastafari, you understand, both as to its meaning, that Rastafari does not mean um, head creator, as many Rastafaris and have said, and many unfortunately still lacking that Amharic education. You understand, Amharic education is very important, but the real, the real key, 
and the link between Amharic education is actually Torah or Ori studies, or what we call the Rastafari Sabbatical studies, or the Rastafari Sabbath scrolls, where we study the Torah portion during the time of the Sabbatical, the Sabbatical time. We study the Torah or the Orit, the Orit Minbab, you understand, or the Orit Nibbab. And this is the next area of reasoning that we would like to touch on, which is very, very important. So, y'all willing, um, please stay tuned for us as we go into the the next the next part. You understand the next part of this particular um, teaching. So, please, my brothers and sisters, stay tuned. And once again, take this take this down if you haven't written this down, and if you're not taking notes and are truly interested in these studies, please begin to journal. You understand? Start a study journal. It's very, very important, both the notes that a tutor or a teacher such as I and myself present and notes that you may find in other places, some of your own notes or ideas, or even if they are some speculations, you understand, that you can follow up on or ask others about as time comes along. It's a very important part of the educational process, especially a part of this independent studies. And in this time, we are in independent studies where each of us must be responsible, you understand, responsible for our own education. You understand, then with an educated base of us, we then can come together and do the other activities that we need to when we start to speak about community, when we start to speak about the kibbutzes, you understand, or the sustainable living development, let us come together and do for ourselves. We first need to clear up, clear up a lot of this um, ignorance that we have, that which we don't know, and that which slave Masa of course, maybe never knew or never was going to tell us. We have to learn the half of the story. You know what I'm saying? We have to know the truth. And it's the truth, my brothers and sisters, that shall set you and I and I and I free. So stay tuned. There's some, there's some more to come on this particular teaching. All right? All right. Shalom. Rastafari.